you know, wiring and plumbing and things of that nature. You can see that here. Overall, the frame though is going to come out really nice once we sandblast this. Or should I say, aluminum oxide blast. The body is now off the frame. We can see the frame here. And we're going to start to scale down the frame very shortly. Aluminum oxide is the media that is used to shoot this and uh, it cleans up very, very well. And it gives a very nice finish to it. And all we're going to do with this is put it right into the booth and spray it. It'll look factory perfect. There's very little patina. You see this a little bit of that pitting right there where rust had eaten into a little bit of that. But there's no reason to pull that off and replace it. Uh, it's so minimal. You can see that it's still compact. These are basically supports that go underneath the rear, uh, on top of the rear bed or for the uh, body on the back. But uh, you can see that the actual frame itself is on a scale of 1 to 10. We just don't find them like this very often. It's a 10. This thing is spectacular. Excellent condition. I mean, there's, there's not a flaw in this frame other than what I just showed on that back section. That would be about it. There is no patina really whatsoever on this frame. It, it really is spectacular. It really is just fantastic to see. And they did a very nice job. The gentleman who has been sandblasting for us on and off for the last 15 years does an excellent job. He is, he is truly an artist with this type of uh, blasting. There's a little bit of patina right here. You can see that. A little bit of pitting. And uh, that'll be covered up by a mount. So. Our first round of uh, primers on this uh, frame and it came out quite nice. Looks sharp. Good coverage all the way around. You can see the frame is just so so nice. Things like this uh, pitting that I was talking about is a little bit more evident with paint that goes on it. But again, we'll have some body mounts in there and it'll look just fine. It really, it really is going to come out quite nice. This is more pitting. And this pitting happens usually right there was where the front fender bracket goes on. That pitting happens behind the bracket so on this side of it it will be pretty stellar. The next coats will make this thing pop. It'll be some nice clear and uh, it'll be nice and shiny and look fantastic. I was looking at this the other day you can see the stamps right in there. We have the frame completed here. It's all in the pitch black paint. It came out great. We did a lot of uh, good priming and sealing and painting and base coat, clear coat, and it looks fantastic. Really sealed it up well, and uh, we're assured that it's going to last and last. It does have that black color about it. Um, so we've actually just bolted on real quick the uh, brand new bumpers on the back and in the front. It looks awful sharp. These are a factory bumper that goes up so the axle doesn't hit the frame if uh, completely uh, stuffed up there and uh, looks awful sharp as well so you can see that these are on but uh, the frame itself came out real real nice well worth the effort to do that you can see as I spoke it really just the paint filled in any any uh, little uh, sandblasting uh, patina there. It just is really, really sharp. As we spoke about, that patina will be behind a bracket. But this, the frame is sitting upside down. We flipped it and uh, did the paint on top and then flipped it underneath. So obviously it looks as good underneath as it does up top. We actually baked this as well today. So this has been in the, in the spray booth baking at about 150, 60? 140. 140. 50 minutes. 140, 50 minutes. So it's all the solvents pop right off. It's good, good and clean and dry and actually warm to the touch. Inside the frame itself, you can kind of see it there. It doesn't, it doesn't run. It just stays and dries and uh, acts for good uh, water protection, rust protection. You can see in here that we have our bushings, stock bushings in, the perches.